Hello and welcome to Padrings Models and Transport. Uh, we're having a break on the rail car, the paint, the, the final coat of that blue paint is setting. We'll pop down and have a look at that just in a, a, a quick, quick look before we talk about something else. And uh, we're going to talk about model kits because I also like building model kits. And these are five of the model kits I've built in the last, since I started again in 2021 uh, there's another two or another shelf over there and we'll talk about them on another video there's a bit of history and some quite a few stories to say about them so we're, i'm going to be making every now and again some videos about model kits on the left there there is the 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 zis 5 soviet truck by alan oh that was a that was a very very good project i bought that that model over 20 years ago, thinking, oh, I'll get back into building models. I used to do it when I was a boy. Uh, in fact, my parents, there's a couple of, I think, a plane and a, and a quad artillery tractor that I never painted that I should bring back here and eventually paint. And we could look at them together. And the Zeiss 5 by Alan, this was a very, very long project because... Let's say that the mouldings of Alan are good, uh, but not as good as Vesda. The instructions are pretty, pretty bare bones, uh, and it was really like building the, the real lorry. But we'll actually look at that. We'll dedicate a video to the Zs5. Then we've got a uh, small Soviet tank. Uh, oh, I don't remember the series of that right now. Soviet truck. We've got Bedford uh, TK. Military truck. Oh, hey, sorry. I'm talking rubbish. MK, not a TK. Hey, my brain's fried tonight. In in double O, 176 scale. That was a very nice job. A very nice model. I bought that also over 20 years ago. Okay, anyway. What more I want to talk about tonight? I'm talking, I want to talk about, uh, whoosh, let's go back down here. Uh, oops, and let's have a quick look at the, there's, there's a real car. There's a real car. Looking rather nice. I'm beginning to be quite pleased about the paint. Okay, I'm going to talk about this model kit that I bought last year. It's a Gaz 67, a sort of Soviet version of the Jeep. And this is a kit. I, I like buying these rather obscure kits, and uh, which are challenging when you build them. <laughs> and this is made by Air. Serele in Moldova. In fact, I pronounced it in Romanian. So, Air Serele means a limited company, like in Italian, SRL, in, made in Moldova. And uh, it's a 135 scale model kit, so it'll definitely go along very well with the, the Z5 by Alan. And let's have a look at it together. I bought this on Vinted, it's written in Romanian. It's written in Russian. Okay. Here's other 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 uh, other products they make. Okay. Let's have a look at the box. Even a box is fantastic. It's all written in Russian here. Okay. Very well. Let's open it up and have a look. Now, if I was making comments on the instructions of the Alan, which are actually oh, not bad, here's the instruction sheet of this model. This is going to be fun. This is really going to be fun. <laughs> this is going to be really fun. I love. It. I just love it. It's so so simple. So. So, uh, look at it. So we have one. We begin with axles. Then, a minute. So, this axle, another axle. Then we build the chassis. Then we put the suspension and break the axles. Then we build the bodywork. Then we put the back seat on. And then we fit everything else. This is going to be fun, definitely. Anyway, those are the instructions. 
I just like these, they're fantastic. The more, if you compare this to a Zvezda, Zvezda, Zvezda has pages and pages and pages of very, very fine detailed instructions. And I can't show you the instructions of the Alan right now because they're sort of buried. There's too many things on top of them, but we'll do a comparative. We'll do another video. Oh, wait a minute. Hold on. Stay there. I might actually be able to show you the instructions of the Alan if I put this phone down just a minute. There we go. Let's try and not drop the phone. And great special effects. Oh, anyway, you can have a look at the sprues. This is all full of packing. This is not original. This is from the, the person that sent me the that sent me the the stuff. So we're actually we have page de decals here. Wow. Just a second. We'll see if I can get. I want to show you the instructions of the Z5 by Alan. Oh, I'm lucky. I'm lucky. I'm lucky. I got them out. I got them out, no problem. So, these are the instructions of this IRSRL model kit. And ahem, the instructions of the Alan are something, the Z5 are really something much, much better. So, definitely something, as we see in Scotland, a different pair of bricks. In fact, the Z5, which you can see up there, there it is, there it is up there, there it is. This was built in, if I don't remember badly, nine steps. But we'll talk about this in detail when we see the Z5. Some of them, you can see there were some, that's not, no, that was, this was number 16 and not number 18 on the sprue, there had was some corrections, but there was some fun I enjoyed myself really it was nice because I had to modify things it was really good fun and it came very very well so this is a Z5 let's not let's not talk about two things at the same time but definitely I don't want to lose these instructions because I want to, uh, I want to talk to you about this this model I'll have to do some tidying in here it's a disaster I say all the time that it's a disaster and I never do it uh, I don't really like tidying do I Okay, so let's have a look at the model. Let's take these. These have got the same consistency as Pufoulettes. Pufoulettes are a kind of... It's like something made of, of corn that people in, like, eat in Romania, and they're yellow. They're very, very good. They're really good, they're really good. But the, the, the consistency, this is polystyrene. I don't know if this polystyrene is from the person that sent me this stuff, because I bought this on Vinted. It could be. It's, it's very particular. <laughs> Let's shift this stuff out of the road. And I'm really looking forward to getting to building this model, because I think it's going to be, be definitely an interesting project to do together. Okay, there's the bodywork. Here we have the chassis. Here's what's here. What we've got here. You've got the chassis. You've got the chassis. I remember opening this and checking that I had all the bits and pieces. And here's the... Radiator grills and things. The only thing I remember when I looked through this, when I looked through this here, here they mention, you can see, there's supposed to be a piece of glass to go in the windscreen, but there doesn't seem to be any glass around here. There's no glass in here. There's no, tra no, oh, drop that. No transparent anything in here. So that was probably either it was omitted, but I don't think so because probably by the previous owner. But that's not a problem. Glass can be easily 
fixed stop. Let's see here on instructions. In fact, you can see that the headlamps, instructions say number 31, headlamps to fit the transparent lenses. But that's not really a problem because we'll cut that. We know, I'll know how to do that. I know, I'll do that myself. I'll just cut the stuff. It'll be, and then, so definitely I'll have to make my own, gla my own glass for the windscreen, which is here. There's a windscreen there. And I'll have to get a bit of glass to put in here. That'll be quite good fun. The windscreen wipers are supposed to be on top. Yep, there they are. Here it says it's made in Moldova. And uh, wheels are in one piece. The Allen, these fibers are much, much more sophisticated model. Here we go, let's see what there is here. And this, the, what's really good fun of making these, uh, these models is looking at all, what I like doing is looking at photographs of the real thing and videos on YouTube and then painting everything re in their, true to life. When I built the Z5 truck, I looked at lots and lots of photographs, lots of videos. Uh, it was really very, very entertaining job. I really enjoyed doing it. It was good fun. So... Are there windscreen wipers here? Because on the drawing we have windscreen wipers, but in reality the instructions don't mention any windscreen wipers. Two wee knobs to be able to fit your windscreen wipers in it, I think. Uh, we're going to be definitely working on a magnifying glass here. And, 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 so this is a windscreen. to me to be inside and this is this is a side where you can fit, fit the windscreen wipers the non-existing windscreen wipers I think so yes and the glass is supposed to be pushed in there which glass we do not have so that's going to be good fun cutting a bit of glass a rounded rounded corners Ooh, that will be fun I'll be filing that, that'll be no problem. We'll cut some some polycarbonate and uh, transparent parts. So that's it. That's so this is this is a job. This is the I think this is the next model kit I'm planning to build or maybe I might make something small just to I've not built a model kit for some time. So I'm planning anyway to build one and to do it together. It's the kind of thing I can I could actually build in parallel with something, something you know railway related because because these things here take a long time and uh, maybe I, of course I won't film myself. You know, fill in little bits, uh, we we sticking bits with glue on and things. I might just go through some of the some of the most important parts. Uh, and talking about the painting and things because or any tips I might have some some ideas and some some stuff but we'll definitely go through it and see it grow step by step okay very well excuse me I'm about this sort of wobbly camera camera work tonight not very good but I wanted to have a chat about something different and this I think will really be something quite interesting to make the Gaz 67 made in Moldova and I'll have a look I'll have a look on uh, it says there are 76 pieces in there I wonder if I counted the missing the missing transparent parts but that will be good fun okay very well and uh, we'll have a, a drop of decals on the floor I have to remember to pick them up um, so this is one well, actually, I'll show you through another very another interesting model kit, which is one of the ones that I built when I was a kid, really small. I was, but so we'll talk about that in another video. It's uh, it's over there. Let's see if you can spy it. There's a clue. It's yellow. 
and it's under the other covers over there. Any guesses for what it is? Write so in the comments. Cheerio and see you next time.